And we have Wait, a... very important. Do I look cool? Very cool. <laughs> Hold on. Thank God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Got you. It's gotta be in front of my eyes so people know that I'm... I know. I don't want to be here. I'm too yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 He's a shoegazer. It's emo. Come on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Welcome back to Nashville Unsigned. We are hanging out on the red couch. Friend group. <laughs> yes, talk to yourself. <laughs> Welcome to the stage. Welcome to the stage. It is your honor. Thank you I for mean, being here. Yeah. You're, Brian. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you got here. Why? Why? How? What? Ooh. Uh, nice. You secretly snuck that in your pocket. Yeah. Cheers. Security Lord wouldn't let me have it. How did I get here? Security. <laughs> um... Not the um, mother and, and I mean, in your dad's eye like, thing, like further down the road. How'd you get to Nashville? How did I get to Nashville? Well, I've been playing music my whole life. I was in like, you know, I was, I was just, I saw bands and stuff when I was young and I was just like, I got to do that. And for my 16th birthday, like my, my dad, like scrounged up enough money to pay for like a three song, like, uh, recording thing Aww. with just like a friend from his church that, yeah. that had the ability to record and I recorded with him and and you know he was just kind of older and like and didn't really get what I was doing and so so then it was time to record the next thing and I was just like I don't have enough money and my new my philosophy was just like well if someone's not going to do it for you just do it yourself, do it yourself. Yep. so I was like I got I got these songs that I got to record and I don't know if I don't have money I'll just learn and so I like audited classes at uh, different colleges on like how to produce nice. and record and like bought a bunch of books, like mixing for dummies. Like I Dude, literally, you got you to gotta start from somewhere. Yeah. So I basically, I just made enough bad music to where like it slowly got less and less and less bad. bad. <laughs> and like, I like, it's not out there, uh, but I have like probably like eight albums Damn. <laughs> just because like, I would put one out and I'd say, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And then I would like get a little bit better and I'd be like, that is garbage. <laughs> and then I would do it again and, and I'm still doing that. Now. So what you, uh, so, what's your most recent album you have out right now? Uh, it's called To Be Loved. Nice. And you, you're like a one man band. Like you do everything, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything in that band. And I'm one of those douchebags that plays everything, but like not <laughs> well. Um, well enough. Well enough. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I just, uh, I was in Colorado and, asked a bunch of my friends if they wanted to start a band and they said, no, we'd rather do drugs. So I was like, okay, I, I know how to play these instruments. So I'll, I wrote the parts, so I'll just play them and, and then learned how to record and stacked the parts. But, uh, but yeah, it's just me doing all the instruments. Nice. It's very lonely. It's kind of why I call it friend group because it's just me. <laughs> um, so you're like, you're selling the fact that you have a lot of friends, but in actuality you're like, eh. Well, I'm selling the fact that like, I, I didn't want to be like a first and last name guy that was yeah. like, selling like, I didn't want to like sell my music and then also like sell like hotness yeah. or like personality because I have neither. But I have music, <laughs> so I'll just like sell that. And uh, and you got some moves. I mean, I've seen your dance moves on your videos, so I know you got dance moves. Uh -huh. <laughs> Those were incidental. Whether they're like jerking or whatever, it just, I mean, it, it seemed right, felt right. Yeah. Jerking right. is the right word, I would nice. say. Damn, you're just hitting the LaCroix left and right. What are you talking about? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> So tell us, like, what's on the horizon with what you've got in your arsenal? Like, what's coming out? Do you have anything new? Yes. Yay. So wrote the first album this fall and recorded it and all that and then put it out in November. And it was awesome. And it did better than I, like, could have yeah. thought it would, Bitch, like, starting out being nobody. And it did well, but I was like, okay, I want to do better. And everyone said, yeah, well, like, you know, do, do the next one, whatever. And I was like, no, no, like, I'm not, I'm trying to, like, go now and go as far as I can yeah. now. So it came out November 17th and December 1st, I started working on my second album nice. and I finished, uh, February 14th. I'm, I'm kind of ambitious and I just yeah. like, wanted to you just locked yourself up in a dark room. Drank a lot yeah, of actually, I actually wrote all this. I, I had, I wrote all the songs in an Airbnb in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Nice. And it just was very sad and, and in the winter and, and, did it all and 
Anyway, so the album's done, and the first single came out last Friday. It's called Feel a Thing. Oh, it's literally the best song I've ever heard in my entire life. And as it should it. be, my friend. As yeah. it should be. Yeah. So, <laughs> Super stoked about that. Of course we are. We're going to sync it up. <laughs> We're going to sync it up on everything when we roll you guys out. Um, I think you have an addiction. I don't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> So tell us um, something weird, random, not a lot of people know about you um, that you're going to kind of let out of the vault exclusively for Nashville and Sun. I am Kelly Clarkson, and I have been this entire time. Shit. I knew it. I knew it. You've all seen her. <laughs> you've all seen her. And you've always thought there's something, <laughs> there's something off about her. I don't trust her. She's um, hiding something. I had the different you. side of me, and I had this, like, powerhouse of a voice. That you I, really do. I couldn't hide. You really do have a powerhouse voice. I wanted voice. to express it in some way, and I didn't want any sort of boundaries blocking me in. So, uh -huh. as, Your boobs are exposing you, though. So just on a whim, I tried it for American <laughs> Idol. Whoops, one. Like, <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, well. Oh, look, I'm a judge on, on the voice now. Yes. Oops. But anyway, that's my secret. Damn, dude. Who knew? Who knew? Kelly Clarkson, we see you. We see you. This is not going anywhere. I promise you that. So our last segment is wild. W-H-Y-L-D. What have you learned, dude? And you've been cooped up in a dark room writing a lot of music and producing a lot of music for a long time. Mm -hmm. And occasionally you'll get out there and meet people. So tell me in the <laughs> process. <laughs> what have you learned along the way? What have I learned? Um, I have this philosophy that every time I like say it to a friend they <laughs> pretty unanimously everyone has told me it's wrong but like i will die on this hill i believe and i'm not saying this is right or true but it's true for me that like do not make music for anyone else but yourself make your absolute favorite song make the music that you wish was out there be a band that you that would be your favorite band if they existed be your favorite singer if they existed. And as long as you can bounce it and press play and think it's the coolest song you've ever heard, then, then it is. Yeah. It might as well be. Will it do well? From what I found, probably not. <laughs> 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 but I listen to Friend Group and I'm like, that is my favorite band. Uh -huh. But I have a lot of people saying, oh, you know, mix it like this, like sing like this, or do, and it'll probably work better. And they're probably right. But like, it's my, it doesn't I, fill your soul. Yeah, yeah. My, my philosophy is like your music, you should make it for you. And anyone else listening to it is just eavesdropping. Yeah. So. Um, That's a valid point. That's, and, and that ensures you kind of stay true to yourself throughout the process, too, because it is very, very easy to lose yourself. Yeah. If, if you're constantly trying to appease everyone else, just yeah. like in business. And that's not going to win any battles. <laughs> I tell you what. So. I think. Uh, I think you should be going after a LaCroix sponsorship. I mean, that's that's oh, I, what I, I have to say, say about it. I mean, jeez, kid. He's over here just putting drinks away, man, <laughs> son. He's over here putting drinks away, son. Okay, mom. <laughs> that's enough. Dude, friend group. And we actually met you via Reverb Nation. So shout out to Craig Snyder and the crew at Reverb for gifting us this lovely being right here, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to sync him up on all things social media and keep you guys informed on everything that he's got coming out soon, when he's playing live, when he's stripping on the weekends, just any of that Where stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, duh. Oh, okay. No, where this Friend group. Is. We love you, man. We're going to sync him up. We love you guys so much. We out this boost. That you just stashed like 28 fucking LaCroix in your pocket. I also hate LaCroix. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs>